Hello there, welcome back to the next tutorial about uh, C bond tutorial for beginners. And if you remember, we talked about the scatter or the relational chart in the previous video, which was the first one. So, in this next C bond tutorial, we will going to look at the line chart, which is a very common chart, but uh, we will see how we can create it in the C bond library along with the different options that is available to us to make it more beautiful. All right. So what do we have is if you remember, we have the sales data, which we have been using. And these are first few rows, which has uh, sales, order priority, discount, profit and all that, which is resembling how a real life data would look like a close resemblance to that. And uh, let's try to build a line chart. So to build the line chart, if I don't do anything, what I will get it is, is like this. Uh, so SNS dot rel plot, we will just use a rel plot using the parameter kind to create a line chart. So for X axis, we let's say want order date. For Y axis, we want sales. And we have data equals to sales and kind equals to line so what it will do is it will going to create a line chart chart for us and as you can see it is taking some time because uh, there are almost like 10,000 uh, values which you have in this data set so it's trying to get a connection between all those 10,000 lines uh, by plotting the sales on top of the order date all right so here is a plot which is it has uh, plotted for us and some warning about uh, some features that it will deprecate but for now uh, this is a chart which it has plotted but as you can see there are like a lot of order dates that's why they are overlapping to each other and same is the case with these lines over here so what we can really do in this case is we can simplify it by you know extracting the year from here so what we can do is uh, we will going to look at uh, or we will going to first create the year as a column which is not right now present over here so sales and we have order date dot dt dot year if we do that um, now if i just say dot unique it has created these four years for us, right? So the method is very simple. As you can see, uh, they say the pandas data frame has uh, these methods and properties like dt.dt.year to extract the year value. And then using sales.year.unique values, I've just paste printed the number of unique values that it, we have got it. So if I just have to again plot it, so what I can do is simply say X axis year, Y axis sales. I think it is capital S. Um, data equals to uh, sales and kind equals to line. So now if you see our plot looks like this, which is much better. And if you see 2009, 2009.5, 2010, 2010.5, because the year what it has considered as the numeric value so in a background and in the data set we can change the year that's not an issue but for now you know the good plot that it has given us compared to this one and uh, we can also have like a year quarter quarter or monthly chart based on the property that we have utilized but for simplicity we have just taken the year so over here, if you are wondering what is this shaded area over here, so what it has done is it has calculated this value as the mean and this shaded area is the 95% plus and minus 95% confidence interval uh, for, for this mean. If you want, you can change this. So if I just copy this and paste this and add a parameter which is a confidence interval ci equals to none so in that case the the confidence interval is now removed as you can see apart from this uh, there is another option 
by having the confidence interval as standard deviation if this is something you are interested to know what is the confidence interval from the perspective of standard deviation that's how your value is so this is mainly for purely um, statistical analysis feature that you want confidence interval as the uh, surrounded area or you want uh, standard deviation we can get based on this and you can explore further if you are more interested in doing the statistical analysis all right so the next thing what i can show you is uh, as i mentioned it has taken the mean over here but if i want to plot the right values or the actual values what i can say is estimate or equals to none and it will show you the exact values about what happened in 2009 then in 2010 then in 2011 then in 2012 right so in this case it is not taking any estimator that's why just plotting you the actual dot point and connecting those dot points that's why you are able to see this uh, sort of bit odd figure um, we have the option where we can choose uh, the different type of estimator so for example this and uh, so um, estimator earlier i showed you none uh, now I can show you even some so in that case it will going to sum all the values and it will show us the output along with the confidence interval all right um, so now let's look at um, the f option to make it more interactive so we are looking at year and sales but let's say we want to see it by the uh, the ship mode so we will say Q equals to ship mode and if we just add it over here so now it has divided our values into the different uh, uh, ship modes based on the value we have given in hue so over here this is delivery truck as you can see it's completely uh, it's like most of the orders are going by delivery truck and then you have down there where uh, you have regular air and express air so using Q, you can uh, you can basically take an advantage to further uh, bifurcate the data. Um, apart from Q, so if I just copy this, apart from Q, if uh, I show you another value which is uh, style equals to product category. Product category is a field, so I'll just show you what will going to happen in this case so now we have hue and we have product category both are mixed so for example over here orange delivery truck and product category is technology so technology is the product category which is getting shipped a lot using the delivery truck and so on and so forth you can go ahead and interpret it and if you see that confidence interval is giving you uh, nightmares then you can have ci equals to none and you can get a much better looking chart over here so once you are here um, the next thing that you can do is so we have hue um, and we have style as product category what i can do is i can change um, let's say style to something like call so what will going to happen it will create the three different charts in this case because we have three different categories which was office supplies technology and furniture so now for office supply uh, for technology and for future uh, furniture this is these are the three different charts which is uh, far more better uh, when you try to analyze it and the good part is that uh, the y-axis is shared and that way you can compare the three different category so if i just copy this and extend the feature a little bit so let's say uh, we don't want product category but we have something which has a lot of values like uh, region if i remember so if i just go ahead and execute uh, it will show you the these charts for different region now what it is doing is it is uh, showing you all the chart in uh, one single row over here 
So what we can do is uh, we can say that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is uh, it is eight. So divide the row into two. So I'll just copy this and paste it here, and say um, call underscore wrap is the feature. Call wrap equals to four. And if I execute it, you will see a much better looking chart like this so along with the um, ship mode you will get the different region about how the shipping is shipping mode is getting utilized in different region and uh, you can print it in two different rows if you want you can even say two so that it will go into print just two and the figure size will be a little bit more large over here right like this so this way you can experiment a lot with these features this is uh, right now it is it is only about scratching the uh, surface or uh, the basics uh, we have just got to know but with these basics as you can see there is a lot of things that can be done to drill down a lot into the data and uh, do the analysis so that's about uh, uh, about the line chart and its uh, different features within the seaboard and i hope you will utilize it a lot in your data analysis so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic